Vendetta introduces us to the protagonist of the story, the rival gang, the Cobras, who fortunately for the player bear a striking resemblance to some of the most badasses in 80s history. First up we have Blood, the ex-prize fighter who bears a similar resemblance to Iron Mike Tyson. Tyson Power! <laughs> Blood is my personal favourite of the Cobras. He had a great style about him, with the dark sunglasses, the white boxing hand wraps, to his blood red t-shirt that he wore. He had that great put up your duke standing animation that made him really look like a boxer. In terms of his attack moves, how could you go wrong with that jumping spinning back fist, as well as ground and pounding a downed opponent into oblivion? And if that isn't enough, he even smiles at his opponents when he's using the shotgun. However, the number one reason why Blood is my favourite Cobra is his choice in footwear, the Chuck Taylors, which are the greatest trainers of all time. Second for Team Cobra, we have Boomer, the martial artist, who is based on the iconic action hero Jean-Claude Van Damme. Ooh. Now, as a lifelong martial arts fan, I truly enjoyed playing as Boomer. And seeing that he was based on one of my childhood heroes, the Muscles from Brussels, made the experience even better. He knocked out all the enemies in those iconic black 80s fingerless gloves, and he was the only Cobra in the team that threw that vicious head kick. But it was Boomer's jumping attack that really stood out for me, as it was heavily influenced by Van Damme's signature helicopter kick. Next up, we have the ex-military convict, Sledge. Or judging by that beard and mohawk combination that he sports, it could be nobody besides... Me. Mr. T. Ah, Sledge. Now, he was my least favourite Cobra growing up as a kid, yet I'm unsure why. He had a great look about him. The braces, mohawk and beard combination made him really stand out like some sort of medieval warrior. And the wild haymakers he threw just added to the aesthetic. I always felt like he had the best knife attack animation out of the Cobras. And his flying headbutt attack was hilariously satisfying. So if you were like me growing up and always felt that Sledge was the weakest of the team, play as him again and just remember... Don't treat a teammate like he's invisible because everybody is important on a real team. Last but not least, we have the former professional wrestler, Hawk, the leader of the Cobras. Now, there's no mistake in who the inspiration was for this golden-haired, mustache-toting former professional wrestler would be. I'll just leave this here. Now the Hawks that was the guy I chose on my first ever game of Vendetta, I couldn't resist choosing a character that was inspired by the man that taught me all about my prayers, training and vitamins. And being based on the Hulkster, his on-screen physique looked a lot more muscular than the other characters, which made his jumping attack, the high cross body, look that much more devastating. Now there's only one complaint I had with the Hawkster, and that was his elbow drop. Now don't get me wrong, I love a good elbow drop, but when the Hulkster knocks you down, there's only one move out there that will ever suffice. Here comes the Hulkster. Yes. If you wish to see the full review of this arcade classic, click the video on screen now. And if you wish to see other reviews, check out this playlist right here. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.